Hello, Kids Town. Welcome back to another Bible story time. This week's story is from Genesis chapter 15. So grab your Bibles, grab your grown up, and let's get started. Stars in my eyes, taken from Genesis chapter 15, from the perspective of Abram. There are promises, and then there are promises. God made me a promise that was so hard to believe, I just had to believe it. It started when I was feeling sorry for myself. Even though God had blessed me with riches and a long life, even though I'd won battles and made a lot of friends, and even though God had protected me more times than I could count, I was still sad. I was sad because God hadn't given me any children with my beloved wife, Sarai. How could God bless me so much, yet not give me a family to share with her? You know what God did? God made me a promise. First, we went outside, and God showed me the stars in the vast night sky. How many stars do you see? God asked me. There are too many to count, I said. That's how many descendants you will have, God said. That's a promise. Wow, I thought. That many generations from me? That's a pretty big family. A huge family. I knew God loved me, so I believed him. But God didn't stop there. Your family will need a place to live, so I'm giving you all the land you see before you, God said. Again, wow, one thing's for sure, I'll never look at the stars the same way again. I think there's something really interesting about God's promises. They often come when we least expect it. Just when everything seems hopeless, God comes through with a promise to take care of us. That's what friends do. I should know, because people call me a friend of God. God is your friend too. When you pay attention to God's words, you can hear many of God's promises to you. And the biggest one of all is that God will always love you. Have you ever made a promise to someone? What was it? Was it easy or hard to keep your promise? When God makes a promise, he always keeps it.